on, give them a nice little guard of honor as well as their bus troops in two hours before the start of the game. They promised 25 million baht if they win this tournament. Thai team, one million for each win. They're undefeated in this tournament so far. Four wins, one goal is draw. Goal is draw against the Philippines, just the fourth time in Thailand. They failed to score in the Suzuki Cup game. That's a quite magnificent result, considering that we're in the 10th edition already of this competition. Result Marias has never kept a clean sheet against Thailand. He's done so at least for the first 45 minutes. This is his third meeting against his Thai opponents. And remember that statistic. We've always had a result in the first leg since 2004 when it was turned into a two-legged affair in the final. We've always had a result in the first leg. No draws. But the team that's gone on to win the first leg has gone on to lift the Suzuki Cup. Two teams have won away from home. The first leg, Singapore against Indonesia in 2004 and Vietnam against Thailand in 2008. Saraj, once again, using his puny figure just to just create a huge nuisance of himself against Mo Shadow. Bundled off the ball by Shapui. A lot more defensive work than he usually does. Is that onside? The answer is no. Probably trying to just sweep himself around the defensive line to keep himself side by side with the defense. Which, just like the game against Vietnam, is trying to play as high a line as possible can be very dangerous, especially with Fatih Shah's back paddling then. Chanatip trying to feed out why to use the pace of Krokrit down the flanks. This is Shadow Shapui. A lot more needed from him creatively. Sarajivian will always be the nerve center this midfield engine group, Kamalan's clearance only finds Chanatip. Big turn around, Shuko gets a second opportunity. And once again, Shuko standing tall against very tiny Chanatip's Mukrasim. In Putra, all the way back to Kamalan. He's one of five players who need to recall that spirit of 2009. And then everyone back home gave the Malaysians no chance in the Southeast Asian Games in 2009 against a Thai team that have dominated competition for the longest of times. They actually beat them in their final match with two goals to one to knock the ties out of the competition. Shapui. Shapui. Chanatip. Krokrit. This is buttery until the cross. Not the best of passes though. Throw from Sabin Rahim. Picked up by Grateful Cowan. And picks themselves for this final Thailand. They've amped themselves up after their opening two group matches. Started to shut up shop a little bit. Didn't concede against Myanmar. Over the two legs of the semi-finals against the Philippines. Narahudin, very much part of that back line since his appearance against Malaysia. He has stayed as obstinate as you'd like. Zubir. Back the years, isn't it? It's the end of Putra at 
first in Tennessee since Winston Harrell making his debut for Malaysia in 2000. Moving this 14 years later. Still playing the open service, still scoring goals. On the third against Singapore, his only goal in this tournament. He's hoping to get a second now. This Malaysian free kick taken by their top scorer and the tournament drop top scorer, Safi Krahim. Floated in. Oh, left at the end by Sutanam. Got a call from Cowan, a very late call. Just ducked out of the way. That's a call from Cowan. Very low at sea. This ball was floated right in. into a dangerous zone is that a penalty well the ties wanted a penalty and it looked as if the player was being hauled down by the Malaysian defense the referee though has waved away claims we've seen so many penalties given away in this tournament already not that time Krokrit Zubair does well Chanatip shot is on Poorly taken at the end by Shapui. The Malaysians will be worried that they gave him the opportunity to turn inside the penalty box and take a swing at that. Was this a penalty though? Oh, I tell you what, we've seen them given before. As we have a look at Shapui's snatch shot at the end. It's right at the far post. That might have been a huge penalty shout, which might have turned the game around. Ninth penalty. We've already had more penalty conversions. One more penalty conversion in this tournament than we had in the last three combined. Chanatip. Still Chanatip. Chanatip. Round a couple of challenges. Need support. Finds it in Hong Kong. Malaysians inviting him to shoot, he passes up on the opportunity. Now to put in, Wong Kong! Slightly over, just like it was at the early stages of the first half. Now to put in, pulling the ball back and finding Wong Kong. Almost from the same area, this time it wasn't skied as high as it was. But he still can't keep it in between the stakes. He thought it was in. His prime, he would have put that in. Getting closer to a goal. This game deserves a goal. The way these two sides have been going at it. Anisak failed to keep it in play. With Kirati, Kirisimbut out injured after pulling a hammy in match against the Philippines. He's the only known striker on the team. Chanatip 
He's in a different postal code, isn't he, Jonathan? Whenever he gets the ball, the excitement lingering around, cascading down the fans in the Rajamangala Stadium. Stylish goal kick from Parizal. Almost finding his teammates. Clever throw. And he sucks, just scoots it clear of his markers. Gets the ball back. Chanatip is there for a quid at the far post, asking for the ball to be delivered. Saraj. Any sort of a blast would do. A couple of players want him to pick the ball inside the penalty box. And he suck included. Narbudi. Adisak, Adisak, oh, how close was that? Never concede from a throw in, that's what they always told, and the Malaysians almost did that with some elementary defending. Fadil Shahs being taken out of the penalty box. Shuko Adan just screamed after him. From the moment he was sold, are that body feints from Adisak Kraisom. Fell at a superb height, inviting him to smack it into the back of the net. Marisal Malia still not worked yet. Shapui. Hong Kong asking Shapui to chase after this, and he does and keeps it in play. Uh, it's a delicious cross by Shapui. Crocrit, Adisak headed away. Chana Tip is right there, putting pressure on the defenders. Has he given away a free kick? I think he has. But that was a cross from Shapui. Krokrit couldn't add the finishing touches. Heroic defending in the end from Fadli Shahs. Nazamudin to complete the clearance. But they're sensing something here at the Rajamangala. The Thai crowd now getting up on their feet. They're upping the tempo, upping the pressure. Away, the Malaysians couldn't get past Sudanam. Seems to have recovered from that little pull in his abdomen just before half time. Tanabun, both central defenders had a nervous start to this game. Slowly though, they've settled to their organization and their paces. Zubir taking it into space. It's a clever ball. No Sharol almost using his body to perfection and turning around his marker. Chanatip feeds Chapui. Break is on. It's four against four. Monkon once again Krokrit screaming for the ball out wide left. Monkon has got to go back to Nagapudin. Thankfully for him, that pass back did find a teammate, Sarat Yuyen. And ball, or is that going to be a throw in? Tai Four is screaming at Shapui and Gang, saying that they want the ball played far quicker. Shapui still, still shadow Shapui. Chana Tip allows it to run to Saraj. Just wide. Second best passing percentage in this tournament, Sarat Yuyen. But in this game, he's had as many shots as Arisa Kraison. That's his third already. Two of them have been off target. So the shots are raining in on Farizal Malia's goal. But in the second half, he hasn't had a save to make just yet. Six-yard box yet again. Protector in chief against Nosharul. Crocrit. The tackle that one was by Benalan. Crocrit didn't give it up, trying to keep it alive. 
this one with a lot more time thrown. Peter Pat needing some movement, always comes to the fore. Tiny, trying to tip. Chapui. You can see that happening from the mile away. Fabri Charles just came raining in on him. Wrecking ball stuff. The Malaysian centre back. The moment he committed himself, he had no choice. It's either ball or player. He took the latter and gives away another free kick. Crowd sets a goal. Chapuis tries to deliver. He's already got one against the Malaysians. To tie it at two all in the group stages. This one though goes meekly wide. Shuttle tees it up. Blocked at the end. The effort was by Safik Rahim. And all of a sudden, it's the tie's turn to break away. Monkon. Chanatip. Great close control from Chanatip. Saraj. Ball didn't go out. Amriyaya. End to end stuff. How are we still at nil nil in this match? Rafi Radzi trying to create some room for himself. Finally, allowed to Indra Putra. Oh, that was an elbow swung into the face of Indra Putra. We didn't have frontal view of that. Head in the end. There was an elbow flung into him from Narbudin. Prokrit. Solid, solid defending. It was desperate. But Shuko Adan, Malaysian captain. Or was that Azamudin? It was Azamudin. It shows that Ties only get a corner from their latest expedition into the Malaysian half. First flight it. Hoisted into a dangerous spot. Once again, Sutanam trying to attack it. Still clean, and he should have had a penalty. Chanatip trying to influence matters. This busy running in midfield. Katisuk might be ready to bring on Prakit Diprom, who was left out to accommodate Adisak Kraisom in this final. Is he going to take out Adisak and go for Chanatip up front all by himself? Prakit trying to create a midfield, giving more space to Shapui. 
ball. Two-legged challenge, and as alluded from Tanabut Kesarat, so he had to get it spot on. showed against Vietnam in that first half, especially that first 15 minutes where they hardly gave the Thais any time on the ball in midfield. The Thais have now gone 365 minutes without conceding a goal in the Suzuki Cup. Crocrit, anywhere we do with the challenges so far from the Malaysians. Oh, it's onside. Adisak, straight into the stomach of the goalkeeper. First save he's had to make and he hasn't let the team down, Farizal Malias. It's just a hopeful punt forward for Adisak Kraisom. Took it cleanly, it was a great connection with the ball. Obstinate at his near post. And we're still at nil nil. Cowin forced to defend his goal. The 367 minutes. They haven't conceded. Once again, it's Amriaya. Might have gone out, might have come off the post. He was taking no chances. Prakit does come in. And he takes the place of Hong Kong. That might mean Shadow Shapui going down the right hand side. Or is it Prakit going down the right hand side? It is Prakit with his first touch of the ball. Prakit. Still Prakit. Fresh legs. Raw energy. Couldn't get past the second sliding challenge though. Indra. Feed it into the strides of Amriyaya. Too much swerve on the ball. Narbodin. Onside. Rakit. Hangs it up. No one there at the far post. Chanatip. Trying to chase down Azimuddin. Forcing him into a clearance straight to Peter Pat. Saraj, Shapui, Narbodin, 
Prakit outside of him once again. We've seen a lot of the ball since he's come on. Prakit. Arisak, is he onside or off? Should be on. Decided to play on. Amri Yaya is as good as the auxiliary striker at the moment. Bullied off the ball by Pirapat. Sarac. Upping the ante. Amping up the intensity. Thailand still can't find a way through this stubborn Malaysian defence. Shut out him! Palmed away. Was that a penalty? Yes, it is. Finally, it's given. Fadli Shah an accident waiting to happen in the Malaysian defence and he commits the greatest crime as he brings down Adisak and Thailand have a penalty in the 2014 Suzuki Cup final. Once again, Fadli Shah turned too easily and this time he stuck his foot out and the referee had a great view of it. Didn't hesitate to point straight to the spot. And once again, we have a penalty in the 2014 edition of the Suzuki Cup. Sharul Shapui, who scored a penalty against Singapore in their opening match. He scored against Malaysia in the second game. Now has a chance to score his third of the tournament. Which will make him Thailand's top scorer. Chapui! Same spot he put it against Hassan Sani of Singapore. Faris Al Mali has no chance. Came close to it. But it was unnerving from the number seven. And he's given Thailand the lead. Ninth penalty. Converted in this tournament. Against a team that has had most of the penalties so far. Malaysia. Thailand. And Sharul Shapui with his second penalty conversion. In the 2014 Suzuki Cup. As we stated earlier, before the start of this tournament, they never even converted a penalty in the Suzuki Cup. And now they've had two, and they've converted them both from that number seven. though still singing their hearts out because they believe that their side who've never cowed and never bowed in this tournament so far Dola Saleh has instilled a fighting spirit in these Malaysians and boy do they have to fight it's a story of their tournament so far isn't it from the jaws of elimination jaws of defeat they've come back time and time again well here's another one remember in their four previous meetings against Thailand in Thailand in this competition they haven't scored against them now will be a good time to write that statistic no shuttle, did it last come off him? The answer is yes. No, it's not. It's going to be a corner. He's been lively as a wire tonight, no shuttle. Kadri Radzi takes. Settled 
Eccles for the throw. It's 373 minutes now that Thailand have gone without conceding in the Suzuki Cup. Malaysia have that statistic to take down as well. And that, by the way, is the fourth longest streak in Suzuki Cup history. 373 minutes without a concession. Badrul Bhaktia, who scored in the 2011 SEA Games against Thailand, comes on. So too does Safi Sali, the hero of the 2010 first leg final when he scored two against Indonesia. First touch, ball taken away from him. Thailand have got this clear. Adi Saka once again at the end of another crude challenge. This time coming in from Zubair Razmi. Crocrit, broken clear. Kunalan, very alert to the situation. He's played well since he's been converted to a right back. That's Kunalan. Saraj using his strength and his mouse just to get the ball away from Fadrol. Still in play, Pirapat. They tried to clip his ankles, couldn't take the ball away from him. It's dirty at the moment, out there on the pitch. Sharo Shapui, the latest player to go down. Adisak, lovely ball back to Narabudin. No one inside the penalty box for him to aim at. has started, Katisak wants to know how Shadow Shapui is bundled off the ball without a free kick being given there, advantage was played, probably wanted a yellow card too, Zico is not too happy with the referee's decision, Shapui gets up, his goal separating these two sides, Tanabun, Adisak, misses it, a few aerial duels which he didn't win, Crocrit taken out, Jose Munin, doing a lot of his work defensively rather than the opposite end of the pitch tonight, gives away another free kick, Clever ball. Adisak taking it from pocket. Shapui, in fact, kept in play by Adisak. And Bodin allowing the Malaysians to converge on him before he's towing it out of Indra. He's playing more as a left winger now, Indra Putra, to allow Safi Saleh. Chance to go up front, right up there, alongside No Shuttle. Peter Pat marshaled out of it expertly. Shuko Adan. No Shuttle. Safi using his strength and using it well. Zubir invited to come forward. By Sapik Rahim. Sapik tries to ping a pass, failed to do so. But roll. Forced to go backwards all the way back to his goalkeeper. Pavizal to Fadli. Now Fadli would hope for a goal back after giving away that penalty. They had defended so stoutly up to then. 
I think two friendly shots. Allowing Safi Graham to take over. Trying to pull the strings now. And the pass for two hasn't been given able the time. But running up front from his teammates to ping a pass four. Kanatip loses out of the air to Shukwada. Saraj bringing back Badrol. Good work by Badrol. Well, it was going in. Cowan loves his clean sheets. Good effort by Badrol. Adisa. Up for him up front tonight. And he's played that role to perfection. He's just bullied the Malaysian central defenders out of the way and created space for his teammates and more importantly won the penalty. And gave Shadow Shakui the chance to put that 1 0 up. And he was not going to pass up on it. The man who got the winning goal in the 1996 final against Malaysia celebrates. But at the moment seems to be the winning goal in this first leg as we approach the final 10 minutes. Shadow wanted a free kick. Prakit couldn't keep it in play. Safi. Indra. Azimuddin. Thailand in 2002, round about this time in the 82nd minute. Kati Soksai had now gone 381 minutes without conceding a goal. Malaysia close to their fifth match against Thailand in Thailand without scoring. As I said, it's a Malaysian side that has been very resilient to this tournament so far. Don't understand the words, give up. The supporters know all about it. They wouldn't mind taking a 1-0 scoreline. Back to the Bukit Jalil Stadium on Saturday. Hadisak has been ravenous up front. He wins another header in the air. Suck. 
wicket. And he sat and put it back on the pitch of play already after taking that smack on the face. Mahindra, Saraj, Bucket. Peter Putt was energized. He's ready to move forward. It does mean that Brooklyn will have to come back defensively to help out. At least temporarily. Allen, well up and under of a clearance. Peter Putt wins it in the air. So he does well to win back possession though. And try to give no time to ball on the ball. Great closing down once again by the ties. Peter Putt, Brooklyn. Once again, it's a very high line that's played by the Malaysians and it's been sprung. Chana tip. Chana tips on Krasin. Laying it on the play for Cochrane. It was patient. It was metronomic. And it was chillingly executed. They drew the Malaysian defense out. And they had the right person springing in behind them. And Chanatip Songkrasin, who unselfishly laid it on the plate for Kukit Tawikam, who becomes the 10th different Thai player to score against Malaysia in the Suzuki Cup. Head up all the time, Chanatip. And how good was the pass into the stride of Krokrit for his favorite left foot. Is this the moment, the final denouement of the 2014 Suzuki Cup? The man who got the 600th goal in Suzuki Cup history with his third goal against the Philippines in the second leg semi-final now scores the 60th goal of this tournament with the second goal of this match and his third in the tournament. Malaysians not going to give up on this. Is there enough fire in their bellies? They've brought on another striker, Manaf Mamat, who's part of that 9 Sea Games squad that miraculously beat Thailand in the closing stages. Well, they need a miracle now in the closing five minutes. Adisak. Flicks and tricks now available for the crowd's viewing pleasure. This will be their seventh victory in a row in Thailand in the Suzuki Cup since their 2-1 defeat to Vietnam in 2008. Their only defeat that they've suffered at home in their Suzuki Cup history. <laughs> 25 touches without a Malaysian getting onto the ball. 26, 27, is it going to be in? <laughs> that would have been the goal of the tournament and perhaps one of the goals of the Suzuki Cup history. 27 touches and Cowan was a spectator throughout, watching and applauding the captain. Chapuis took the final shot, which went just wide. He's feeling the effects of stubbing his throw, stubbing his foot on the ground more than anything else. This is a marker laid down by Thailand. May we remind you, whoever's won the first leg at the Suzuki Cup has gone on to lift the trophy. But it's a Malaysian side that has defied logic so far in this competition. might have their own say on Saturday when we get to the capital in Kuala Lumpur.
might be good nights for Sharul Shapui. Who scored the opening goal before Crooked Tawi come made it two. Well, it's no use just having one player spring the offside trap. I give credit to Crooked Tawi Khan because he kept pace with so Chanatip. And we all know, watching the Suzuki Cup, it's not an easy thing to do. Stride for stride inside the penalty box. And he devoured that opportunity set up to him on the plate. Four minutes of out of time. Free kick to Thailand. Exactly where they wanted to be. Might be a doubt, Charles Chapuis for the second leg. They don't want to lose any more players because Pakit Deeprom might be his ready-made replacement for the second leg. He's gone down injured as well after this hefty challenge from Badro Bhaktia. There we go. He stubbed it on the ground. Caught a little bit of the Kunalan studs as well. Kept in play by Adisak. Ran into trouble. Got it right back. Want a throw from Fadli Shahs. It's been a soldiering display from Adisak Kraison. Never backing down from any challenge. Ensuring the centre backs are occupied full time. Sarach Yuyen goes down. Referee's given a free kick. The Malaysians in their pursuit of winning possession back. Just giving away free kicks for fun now. Safi Saleh, the latest, uh, studs up. And even have been a red card if the referee had seen it all over again. That was a nasty challenge by the Malaysian number 10. Lasso brought on. It might be for Sarat Yuyen. The yellow card away from suspension, remember. Oh, almost a chance once again for Adisak coming in on the blind side of Fadli Shahs. Tanabun, crowd appreciated that dynamic boot up front. That anywhere would do attitude. And now Adulaso can be brought on. Yes, of course, the team captain, Adulaso, and he will come on indeed for Sarachuyan. Katisuk appreciated. There are 49,000. The ties in the stadium have also appreciated that effort from Salah Julian. Passing percentage, second best in the tournament, just behind Manuel Hutt of the Philippines. Vira Pat, happy to gain yards with the throw. Conceding a goal, Kawin Tamsachanan, and went 491 minutes without conceding a goal in the recent Asian Games. 
but the chance has been committed. Break might be on here for Thailand. Zubirazmi anywhere would do for him. Uh, he's given the ball right back to a blue shirt. Peter Pato failed to control it in his stride. Thailand can see their reflection in the Suzuki Cup. Dola Saleh 